Hey guys, American Pizza Books here. So today I'm actually doing another book collection video. It's going to be on the author Ronald Malfi. Some of you may have heard of him. I did a review of one of his books in my last video. And he's someone that I learned about here on YouTube watching other book channels and uh, he's just, he does some really, really good work. Um, I've become a really big fan of his. Uh, most, like, I, I don't think I've heard a single bad thing about, like, about him at all, or even any of his works. Um, of course, every author has some, you know, some stinkers here and there, but, like, you know, Ronald Malfi, just from what I've read so far, is just phenomenal, so... Uh, I'm looking forward to him. He's releasing a new book next year, which I'm really looking forward to. But if you are a fan, like, you know, Stephen King and stuff like that, I would highly recommend checking out Ronald Malfi. His stuff is just excellent. So I'm going to start. This is all in publication order. Some of his books that he released early in his career, like, you just you cannot find. They're, like, out of print now. I was lucky to find a few of his older works that you would have a hard time finding nowadays like you might be able to find a copy on ebay or something if you really hunt you know just try to hunt those down but uh you know some of his earlier works just aren't around anymore unfortunately but i have got a pretty good amount of his books so we'll start with his uh short story collections or novella collections but so this is they lurk haven't read this one yet. This one apparently came out in 20, 2012 or 2014, one of the two. But I, I guess it was taken off because I pre-ordered it this year. So I guess it was taken off and then was re-released or something. So that's that one. Uh, we should have left well enough alone. Let's see if I can... is ghost written if you want if you are a fan of like novella collections and you want to start with something like that when it comes to Ronald Malfi I would highly recommend ghost written this was every story in here was great uh, the last story was um, it was still pretty good I was more a fan of the other three stories but it, overall excellent excellent stuff in here so those are his uh, short story collections. There was another one. If you go to the Wikipedia page and you look up like like collections and stuff, there's another one like the Ronald Melfi Thriller, but I, I looked that up, could not find it anywhere. So maybe it might be another one that's out of print or just doesn't exist anymore, I guess. So now I'll start with his novels. So this was the earliest novel of his that I could find. You might be able to find this one on Amazon, perhaps, or on eBay, maybe, but uh, you'd have to dig a little bit. But yeah, this is The Fall of Never. Uh, we got Shamrock Alley. And if you'll notice, um, early on in his career, he uh, was using his middle name, Ronald Damien Malfi. But later on, he just started to go in by Ronald Malfi for his books. But this one is actually based on his own father. His own father was an FBI agent or, uh, yeah, yeah, FBI agent. Um, I ordered this and uh, this was like, I think the last copy that was available, at least at the time, as you can see, it's got like this, I think, I think it was a library edition. But whatever, I'll take it. I don't care. I don't care what edition it is. As long as I have the book, I'll take it. But so another hard one to track down nowadays. All right, so snow. Um, I don't think this was the one that won him the Bram Stoker Award. I think it was another one that I'll show you here in a minute. But this is snow. It's a uh, kind of a not a very big one. Uh, Cradle Lake. This is another one that's kind of hard to track down. Uh, and I believe I snagged one of the last copies that was on Amazon at the time. So, again, might have to do some digging for this one. And this was... 
It was advertised as being like a part of a series, I wanna say, but obviously that never continued, so. Or maybe I'm just thinking of the wrong thing, so. I uh, got Floating Staircase. This was the one that I think won him the Bram Stoker Award. Um, yeah. So. Another kind of a uh, fairly thin one. I think it's a little bit thicker than uh, snow, though. Uh, the Narrows. Which... Uh, on his Instagram page, Ronald Malfi announced that, uh, Malfi, Malfi, sorry. Ronald Malfi announced that this one is being re-released because he got the rights back to it. Apparently the rights belong to another press that I can't remember off the top of my head. But I actually got this one, uh, earlier this week. And apparently this was like the last copy or one of the very last copies of this, like, um, print press edition. Uh... And funny enough, Ronald Melfi himself informed me of that on Instagram. I actually kind of had a back and forth with him a little bit, which is pretty cool. But um, yeah, so if you want to get this one, apparently it's going to be back in print in, uh, not in, in I think sometime next year. So you'll have to hunt that one down for that much longer at this point. Uh, December Park. I think this one's kind of like a coming of age story, I want to say, but I've heard nothing but good things about this one. Uh, Little Girls. This was the first Ronald Malfi book that I read, and it was pretty, pretty freaking good. Pretty good. The ending, the ending might piss some people off. The ending was weird, uh, but otherwise, it was pretty, pretty good. Uh, the Night Parade. This was an excellent book. If you're looking to start somewhere, I did, I did a review on this one, but if you're looking to start somewhere, The Night Parade is a good place to start. Very, very good book. Um, not uh, not really a post-apocalyptic. It's more of like a, a mid-apocalyptic. Um, the world hasn't completely gone to shit yet, but it's on its way there. Well on its way there, so... Bone White and yeah A little picture there I like skulls so uh, come with me I think this is his most popular book. I think it has the most reviews on Amazon. Heard amazing things about this book. And last but not least, Black Mouth. I've heard just absolute praise about this book. I know I said that about the last one, but I've, I've quite literally not heard one bad thing about this book. I've heard that it's reminiscent of It, um, uh, it's a good sized book, but it's not nearly as big as it, which is probably, which is definitely a good thing. Uh, I've got my opinions on, on that, but that aside, irrelevant. Um, yeah, this is his, uh, most recent book that he's released, aside from Ghost Written, his, uh, novella Bind Up. And the book he's releasing next year is called Small Town Horror. So look out for that one, but... Yeah, Black Mouth. I guess if you enjoyed if you enjoyed it by Stephen King, then definitely I guess check this one out. I haven't read it yet. Obviously, I plan to. But so that is everything. But uh, yeah, Ronald Melfi, just an amazing author, amazing up and coming author. I mean, he's been around for a while now, but um. Just absolutely great. If you're looking for a new horror author to get into, give Ronald Mafia a read. 
seriously. Just amazing, amazing work. So, anyways, that's it for this one. And I'll be back at you guys with more soon. So, peace. And keep on reading.